Hello everyone. Before we start our lesson today, I want you to prepare your mini board, your markers, and your English books. Now let's start. Family and friends. Grade 6. Semester 1. Unit 4. I've printed my homework. Lesson 3. Grammar. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the use of present perfect and yes-no questions. Use the present perfect to ask and answer yes-no questions correctly. And write yes-no questions using present perfect tense. Now, I want you to look at the pictures, read and learn about the present perfect yes-no questions. Look at picture number one. Have you seen my new computer? Yes, I have. It's the latest edition. No, I haven't. Please show me. Now look at picture two. Has he done his homework? Yes, he has, but he hasn't printed the document. Or you can say, no, he hasn't. What do we call this type of questions? These are known as yes-no questions. When do we use them? We use them to ask and answer about actions started in the past that are still true now. Now let's read and learn more about present perfect yes-no questions. How do we write yes-no questions and answer them using the present perfect? I will show you how. Look at this example. Has Ali finished his homework? For affirmative, you can answer Yes, comma, he has. And for negative, you can say No, comma, he hasn't. So to write a question, you have to start with have or has. And then the subject. The subject can be I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Or it can be a name, like for example, Ali or Sarah. Have takes I, we, they, you. And has takes he, she, it. Or a name. And then you write the PP verb which is the past participle form. And then you complete the question. And remember, you should write the question mark. Now to answer the question, for affirmative, you start by saying yes. And don't forget to write the comma. And then you write the subject. And finally, you write have or has. For negative, you say no, you write the comma, and then you write the subject, and then you write have or has, and finally, because it's negative, you will write not. So you can write has not or have not, or you can say haven't or hasn't. Remember, when we use yes as an answer, it's affirmative, plus, and we use no when our answer is negative, minus. Now let's read and learn about past participle verbs, PP verbs. Remember, a PP verb is the past participle form of the verb. There are regular and irregular past participles. I think I remember what you mean by regular and irregular. 
the verb that we add ed to its end is the regular one, while the one that totally changes or stays the same is the irregular pp, right? Absolutely. Look, this is the table from the last lesson. Do you remember it? I'm sure that you remember it. Now it's time to practice. You have to look at Cindy's chores, ask yes no questions and answer them using the present perfect. We have one example for you. Number one is done for you. So look at the chores first. Number one, do homework. And you have a tick next to it. The question will be, have you done your homework? Because you have a tick, it means it's affirmative. So the answer is, yes, I have. Now you have five minutes to do the rest. You can write your answers on your mini board. Good luck.
Now let's check your answers. Look at number two. Make up your room. And you have tick. The question is, have you made up your room? The answer will be, yes, I have, because you have a tick. Number three, wash the dishes. You have an X. The question will be, have you washed the dishes? The answer is, no, I haven't, because you have an X. Number four, take out the garbage. You have an X. The question is, have you taken out the garbage? The answer would be, no, I haven't. Number five, make breakfast. You have a tick. Have you made breakfast today? The answer is, yes, I have. Were your answers correct? Good job! In this activity, you have to look at the pictures and you have the answers given. So you have to write yes, no questions in the present perfect. You have four minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Are you done? Now let's check your answers. Number one. Have they traveled to the UK this year? No, they haven't. Number two. Has she read this novel? Yes, she has. And the last one. Has he watered the plants today? No, he hasn't. Good job. In this activity, you have to write yes no questions in the present perfect using the words in the box. Let's look at number one. You have she, turn off, and printer. So to start the question, you have to write has or have. And then you have to change the verb to make it in the past participle form. You have five minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Now let's check your answers. Number one, has she turned off the printer? Yes, she has. Number two, has he saved the document? No, he hasn't. Number three, have you turned on the speakers? Yes, I have. Number four, have they logged on the web page? No, they haven't. And the last one, have we searched the internet? No, we haven't. Were your questions correct? Good job! Finally, you have to write a yes no question for each picture. Under each picture, you have a guiding phrase. Write your questions using the guiding phrases under each picture. Before you start writing, remember, you have to start your questions with a capital letter. You have to end your questions with a question mark. You have to leave space between the words. You have to check your spelling and you have to write using the correct grammar tense. You have five minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Good luck.
Are you done? Now let's check your answers. Let's look at some possible answers. Number one, have they cleaned the garden? Number two, has he done the presentation? Number three, have they celebrated the national day? Number four, has he helped his mother? Number five, have you watched the news today? And finally, has your grandma got better? Did you check all the boxes? I'm sure that you did. Good job. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope that you enjoyed it. See you soon.